Um, so I don't know if you guys heard, but we just had a primary in Illinois. Um, it wasn't the greatest turnout. In fact, it was the lowest turnout uh, in the history of Illinois for a primary. Um, the last time we ran a site like this, we actually had more visitors to the site than went to the polls, but this time we didn't. So, that was good. Um, so this was really exciting. Uh, the Tribune just covered it. Uh, it wouldn't actually be as, as big of an event within the newsroom for us. I mean, election nights are always very exciting. We'll talk about some of the adventures that I had um, on election night and heading up to it. Um, but this was particularly exciting for a couple of reasons. So we rewrote our election center site um, for the first time since 2010. Uh, we switched to a new data vendor. So uh, for a very long time, we'll get into this, but for a very long time, the Associated Press had a monopoly on election data, um, national election data. Um, Thomson Reuters now has a competing product. Um, and we were the guinea pigs. This was the very first time they had ever tried it out and used it in a live um, environment. And so that was scary for everybody, but it was also really exciting because we got to work really closely with them to help them design an API. And we're actually, I'll be out there uh, in a week to, to talk to them about things that they can do to, to make the API even better. Um, the product, I, I mean, I don't want to chill, but. <laughs> The product that they're offering, uh, if you're a modern web developer, is a lot nicer than what the AP provides, which is something that you have to actually FTP, <laughs> you have to log into an FTP server, consume files, parse the files, it's no fun. Um, so that, that's why we rewrote the software. Um, and then finally, it was also very exciting. Um, uh, we had a print integration for the very first time. So, you know, we're talking about the web, but one huge need of the paper is the print papers and send them out um, and uh, distribute them all over the place. And after an election, you typically have you know, cool tables with numbers in it. Um, up till this point, uh, what would happen is that there were completely parallel tracks. So we manage, our, our team managed the data that went online, and a completely separate team managed the data that, uh, that went into print. Um, and part of that was around technical reasons. So this election cycle, we actually figured out how to generate the files that our crazy old print system needs um, so that we could literally just FTP files into this bucket. Um, they would appear as if they were coming from a wire service for our, uh, for our print producers, and they could just drag it, uh, tables onto the page with the uh, absolute up-to-date correct numbers right at the print deadline. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that. 